hair. Yeah, it is just a wig and I'm having fun because I'm finally able to really get crazy with my YouTube channel and actually create stuff. And I have a skit that I wrote out months ago that I just kind of put on the side and now I can finally put it together. So it's gonna be really fun. And I'm so excited for you guys to see this because I am definitely being more fancy in what I'm doing. But because of how empty this apartment technically is, like it's not fully furnished exactly, I just have a lot of fun with the things keep sliding up. That's not a normal problem. But they stay together, which is nice. Normal things do not, no, that's not how this works. But anyway, so you can see behind me, I set up like what looks like a little cafe. I think in editing, it'll probably look slightly better. But uh, this has been really cool, so I'm gonna show you. Yep, see, I got my camera. And what up, I put those on the wall. I moved the chair over, I got a light set up, and I moved over the little plants. Basically, I just wanted it to look kinda like a cafe, I mean. It was kinda weird though, because I first set everything up, and I was about to film, and then maintenance shows up. And they were trying to fit a drawer that we did not have already, so I was like, well, that was unexpected. So anyway, I am about to get changed, film the rest of this, and put together. It's kinda weird, because I'm technically cloning myself, which I have not really done much of lately. I mean, I kind of have, but also it's really hard because to set that up, your camera for the wide shot, which I can't do the wide shot first as this character because continuity, and if I move it, it messes things up. So I have to make sure I'm getting the exact same wide shot, half of it of me as this character, and then half of me as the other character. So it's a little more consuming of time and a little more creative. But yeah, I'm going to change up my makeup, I'm going to change up my hair, I'm going to change up my outfit, which is actually pretty cute. today that I was going to take a little stroll, walk along, explore around because I'm only here for so much time and I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of explore what's around and everything's so walking distance, it's the next day, so that's what I'm doing and it's really nice. Okay, so new little placement by the window. Perfect, my hair looks gross, don't mind that. As it turns out, I was on the way back and I was right about to get in front of like the main apartment building and I was going to enter, but like right before I did, there's like a little garden section and I saw really pretty purple flowers and I was like, hmm, I wanna see if I could get some aesthetic footage because also part of me walking around meant taking a lot of photos and a lot of video and trying to get back into that cake of having a lot of collage based videos which I did a lot of back home when I started making videos and I've kind of gotten away from that but I want to get back into it and adding poetry to it and stuff like that like I really want to get into that side and this young girl uh, I don't even know how old she was probably like six-ish maybe eight-ish I don't know I'm really bad with numbers just in general so ages are totally included with that and she's, she just stands that up on this little platform thing that I was trying to like get the right angle for the photo. She's like, what are you doing? And I was like, you cute. So I was like, oh, I'm just trying to take a photo of this flower. And we talked for a bit. And, uh, and she was there with her friend. And they were playing in the area. They both happened to live nearby. And it was just so sweet to get to like talk to them for a bit. And then they're like, do you want to play with us? And I was like, oh my gosh, I would. But I have stuff I got to work on. And sorry and you guys have fun now because when it comes down to play it doesn't it, like half the fun is trying to come up with like how you're going to play sort of thing you know like they're like oh you have nothing to play but we want to play and like you gotta come up with it that's half the fun it's been kind of weird it's been very random but i've kind of made it a point to like go and do the things you know and try to it's 
just enjoy my time here. This week has been pretty stressful and <laughs> kind of exhausting. And I woke up this morning tired and wanting to be home and not really wanting to be home in a sense of being home, but in a sense of, I feel like I'm being very overwhelmed by everything that I'm doing and the fact that I'm doing so much it's just, it's a lot of responsibility I'm putting onto myself and that's not a bad thing, but also it's exhausting to be expected to have all of the answers or at least it's just exhausting for me to live up to my own expectations on my own achievements. I'm not probably saying any of this the right way, but there's the point of the matter is, is I was just kind of out of it. I was like, oh. This is crazy, like I can't keep going about trying to figure out my summer plans and try to like do great things but also figure out if that's really what's good for me right now and just all of these things, it's just, it's been a lot. So today was kind of a day to kind of just like reset myself a bit and not worry about all of that and that's totally what happened. So yeah, I also went to Whole Foods and I, again, it was a part of my walking around routine. I kind of like just walked in and out of places nearby and Whole Foods was one of the places. And it was really weird being in a grocery store that was like not outrageously tiny, but it's still not the size of Wendman's. So like Wendy's is the best, like Wendy's, love ya. But also like, I don't know, it was, it was just weird. I kind of just walked around for the sake of it. Uh, but they had samples, which was good. And they picked up some fruit because I wanted fruit so bad literally all day today. and. I've been very fruit deprived and I could like feel it, it's not good. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick up some fruit. And I also picked up some flour because it's on sale and not flour, what am I talking about? Pancake mitts because it is, I'll just show you. So it is pancake and waffle mitts. It's organic, it's wheat, it is like, literally the most LA thing I've probably ever seen. That's not true, but anyway. And luckily, it has stretches on the side, so I don't have the oil, but I do have eggs, and I do have like water slash uh, almond milk. So this is going to be attempted for dinner, and I'm really, really excited because I like trying to put things together. I really wanted to try to make pancakes lately, and now I'm gonna try it. Fighting over the pizza. Oh, these annoying boys um, left their pizza out here and the birds went and took Guys, it. Guys, birds, so get that pizza. You know you deserve it. <laughs> my day and walk back but I thought I'd take a little bow with my sandy feet and my coffee and just take it in because I really like being here and I've decided that I want to spend part of my summer here and part of my summer back home because I want to do that and to be fair I have two homes so why not explore and enjoy having both of them available right now you know like This is literally my second cup of coffee today. Yeah, this morning I woke up at five because the alarm was going off. It wasn't the fire alarm, it was the burglar alarm was going off at five in the morning. And it was so annoying, and I was paranoid that someone was breaking in. Now I've actually realized, you know, like after the hour of panicking and trying to like super hear if there's like someone around, I mean, honestly, like, I'm not exactly sure what they would take, especially since my door is locked and it was door is locked and it's all good, but I'm still like super, super paranoid as the only one awake. So today I have been editing. It is currently 2.20 and I've been editing all day. I did go back to sleep at like, I wanna say six-ish, maybe seven. I was up for a while, I made sure everything was okay and then eventually fell back to sleep for a bit. And then I woke back up around 10. Yeah, it's about 10. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything fun later, <laughs> honestly. I'm just probably gonna fall asleep early because of how my sleep is just so out of whack. 
but that has been my day and that's what I'm doing.